So you might have seen in the media some really scary articles about a solar tax. What this is referring to is just in New South Wales. In fact, it's only one of the managers of the poles and wires, that's the DNSPs for New South Wales, Ausgrid. And what they're not really mentioning is although Ausgrid are going to have a surcharge for solar being put into the grid in the very middle of the day, they're not mentioning the extra tariff they're going to give those same people who are feeding in power in the mornings and in the afternoons. The issue they're trying to tackle is having too much solar in the grid in the middle of the day. Everyone's demand is pretty low, either their solar system is already taking care of their load or they're at work and you know not in the house using the power. And so because the demand is really low and the supply is really high, everyone's solar is going nuts. It is actually a really difficult thing for the grid to manage having volatile power. But your solar system will turn off if the grid voltage isn't stable for its own safety and for yours. But here in South Australia, we're well and truly in front of this. We're leading the world. Smarter Homes, which has applied to any new system since, well, I think it was September 2020, and Flexible Export, which is currently being rolled out across the state. Your system is able to ramp down how much solar is going to be fed into the grid when the grid doesn't need it. It's taking where the grid actually is and responding to it, rather than Ausgrid's approach, which is just to say, blanket during these times, we're just gonna discourage export and we're actually going to encourage it when we need it a little bit more. Using really smart approaches like we're doing here in SA is definitely the best way to go about it and really nullifying or really reducing the risk that you'll ever be charged to sell power to the grid. And in truth, if they ever did that to you, it's only going to encourage you to want battery storage to keep that power and use it for yourself. If it really gets that bad, a clever system, we can just set it to zero export. Sure, you miss out on getting a little bit of feed-in tariff, but you won't necessarily ever need to be charged.